G'day mate, I'm Neil Taxco. How you going? And welcome to Andrew the Forgotten Lost Stories, Forgotten Chapter. I can't remember what it was called. Uh, last time I played this was back when it was installing using Skyrim itself before it was even a separate game. So this one is the uh, special edition version. So I'm interested to see how far it has come. Uh, also, don't forget, you know, if you like it, let me know because I'm happy to continue this as a series. And while I quickly have your attention, I want to thank all you beautiful people out there for getting to me to 55 subscribers. We've hit our first tier for this for the year of the chal uh, challenge chapter thingy, whatever you want to call that I'm running. Uh, so I will be getting pink hair. Uh, it depend. It's going to take me a little bit though, because I'm currently saving up for a house deposit and all that type of thing. So I have like not as much money around the place uh, to throw at things. So it's going to take me a little bit. And uh, once I do have pink hair, I'll decide too. I'm going to do another charity stream soonish i work at the days and that and i want to do a charity um research uh charity research charity stream of breast cancer so i thought you know with the pink hair and all that it might be a fun little thing to do anyway i'm gonna shut up now and let's just get straight into this and explore and fuck that was loud <gasps> pony i have to walk with daddy he wants to tell me something I, I have to walk with daddy he has to tell me something oh, wait all right, I guess I'll go to, go to the top. Ah, I can't remember. It's been way too long. Oh, that. Okay, sorry. Um, man, the music. This is really building up. Mm. Loving this. Hello. Oh, hey. Are you my daddy? You are my daddy. Press A to talk with daddy. Oh, hey there. I didn't see you coming. So, how did it go? Did you find it? Mm, what? Uh, what is this place, Daddy? Where are we? Where are we? We're at home, silly. Where else would we be? Just mommy, sister, you and me. Now tell me, how did it go? Did you find it? No, I didn't. No? Hmm, pity. Maybe you're simply looking in the wrong places. Did you ever think of that? Oh, oh well, who knows? Say, why don't you go inside? Yeah, kind of creep if you out. Can help mommy with the cooking. The creator was kind to us today and sent a big fat elk right in front of my bow. All right? Okay. Makes them. Hmm. Man, I'm a fucking tall child. Look at me. The same size as this door. And my dad. Hot oh, damn. Oh, mommy. <laughs> what the fuck? My, my headset is so loud that somehow this is actually making me uncomfortable. Elk. My, my, I totally forgot what a mess I left here. But I was right, wasn't I? A real gem we've got here. Well then, let's waste no more time and get to it, shall we? Well, what about mommy and sister? What? Now would you look at that? I totally forgot about them. They're dead, don't you remember? You murdered them back then, both of them. But hey, no use crying over spilled milk, right? At least this means there's more meat for the two of us. What? You still remember how to do this, right? First, off with the skin. Slice up the belly, then out with the entrails. I'll look for a nice sharp knife in the meantime to cut off the head. I don't think either of us wants to eat that, do we? <laughs> okay, so I have options, but I didn't kill him, Daddy. It was the masked man. Oh, silly. What? this again we both know that's a lie you did it i remember it all first you set this horrible fire to your sister's crib she screamed and screamed and mommy heard it but when she finally got there nothing was left of her but burnt flesh what the and, fuck oh gosh do we really need to go through this again you know how sad it makes me when you do this you killed them period no matter how often you tell me you didn't, it changes nothing. 
You hear me? Nothing. Now please, let's start cooking. I'm so bloody damn hungry. But I didn't kill him, Daddy. It was the masked man! Why are you telling these lies? Isn't it enough that you murdered us? Do you really have to bother me over and over with your stupid, pathetic, and pointless whining? You know, sometimes I wish the creator would have made me just a little less merciful. Just a little less pious. Because then, I would have realized that you were tainted by sin long before any of this had ever happened. And instead of raising you, feeding you, and loving you like a father does, I would have put you in the horse trough right after you were born. Yes, I should have killed you. I should have just killed you. Just like you killed us. And now, you think you're safe because we're all under the earth, don't you? Well, listen up, my child. You are wrong. And do you know why? Because the dead don't forget. Do you hear me? Okay, the time to... Okay, I'm not... Forget. Okay. Now enough of this useless chatter. I'm bloody starving. Time to... Salem. Bring me help. Bring me a nice crisp piece of meat. Ah, oh, thought we're gonna make some beets out of that sun. Oh, you're nice and toasty. Someone's been laying in the sun. Did you been laying in the sun, my little baby? I guess so. Let's begin with a question. It might sound simple to you at first, but I pray you to think about it. What distinguishes a free man from a slave? For now, however, let us start this story where another one ended three Fucking years ago. Jesus, let me turn that bad boy down. Of oh. the Lightborn. No, I'm just going deaf. For Never mind. For thousand years, they had reigned over this world. Seven arcanists, who through their magic had acquired eternal life. In a time of chaos, they gave mankind what they thought it needed most. To be ruled over with an iron-clad, fair hand. Within just one century, they united the shattered lands, and a single century later, their human origin was forgotten. They became gods, or lightborn, as they let themselves be worshipped as. Yet the longer they reigned, the louder the voices grew that accused them of tyranny. The loudest being that of Naranzul Aranthio. And he succeeded in achieving what was once thought impossible. He gathered an army, overturned the lightborn, and gave back freedom to mankind. However, the price for this was high, because where there are gaps of power, fights erupt. As such, this world grew into what it is today. Shattered, riven, and broken into pieces. Damn. But all oh, of this was merely yet. a diversion so that no one would notice something else. The death of the Lightborn had set something into motion, a clockwork. Having long stood still, its gears now once again slowly began to turn. This is the story of someone who wanted to be free. I want to break free! I want to break free! I want to break free from inside your satisfaction! I need you! What? Sorry. Sorry, Louis. Well, sorry. That was a bit harsh. I, I'm just nervous, that's all. It was that dream again, wasn't it? Yes. Uh, seriously, if we had a penny for every night since we met where you woke up screaming, we'd probably be traveling to Andoral in our own starship and... Well, not like this. Some things never change, I guess. War, war yourself, never changed. If maybe you blame yourself for all of this. For what happened to your family, I mean. 
I don't know, maybe. Blame myself, what makes you think that? I don't know, maybe, but even if I do, what difference does it make? No one says those bastards from the temple killed them, not me, I know that. I don't know, maybe. Oh, you're right. But, who knows? Maybe everything is going to be different now. It's strange, isn't it? The way life sometimes goes. Now, if you had told me that a few weeks ago, I would have at the very least called you insane. But if the stories are true, there's no better place for a fresh start. Can you believe it? Apparently there aren't even any slaves on Enderal. It's amazing. Only this whole blind passenger thing is making my headache. It's not our fault the ship is so poorly guarded and we couldn't afford the passage free uh, fee anyway me too but we're going to pay our debts as soon as we have earned some money over there about 500 pennies here even if we're able to find a job over there we will still need the money for ourselves don't fool yourself what we're doing here is theft unfortunately but anyway what's done is done i just hope the endorians are easier on outlanders than the neveramese are your mother was a fugitive as well wasn't she where exactly did she come from You've told me a hundred times, but uh, I just keep on forgetting it. Oh. <laughs> Which one looks like the hasty peoples? Uh. Pretty sad, because I'm... Um, yeah, it almost looks like the fighter from, um... Babel. Uh, the fight club dude. Alright. Make him make sure he's pasty. Araziel. Right, how could I have forgotten? She was one of the few free people who ever set foot on a ship. <sighs> anyway... Whew, I'm gonna hit the hay for an hour or so. It's your turn to stand. Wait. You hear that? Shit. Someone's coming. Women nowadays just don't want a man to guard them anymore. That's the problem. I don't turn the fucking dead. Sometimes I long for the good old days. Back when I could lift a skirt, nobody would bat an eye. Anyway, enough of the chit chat. Now, where did I put that key? Oh, blazes, what do they want down here? The lamp, quickly, put out the lamp. Good, now quiet. Ah, here we go. Ah, it smells like Vartir's balls down here. Say now, what's that chest supposed to look like? Small, with the crest of the Blue Island Coalition on it. Sorry, sorry. Ah, yeah, right, right. Black Guardian knows what the captain wants it for this shortly before arriving. You go look upstairs. I'll see if I can find it down here. Okay. Oh shit. They don't leave us any choice. We need to do something quick. You take on the old guy. I'll take the young one. Go! Wait. Someone's there. Throw a hook to the face! Come on, Dodge! You can do it! How about, you know... You know, doing your side, mate. Yeah. Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. That wasn't part of the plan. <sighs> Not at all. Oh, what in blazes are we going to do now? Let's kill them. It's safer that maybe we should turn ourselves in. Let's tie them up and gag them when we arrive. We yes. sneak it. Yes, of course. That, that makes sense. One of them said it's not much longer until we arrive. With a little luck, no one will notice they're gone until then. Come on. Help me search. There must be a rope or something. And I thought we were over the hump when we made it on board. Bro, well, I can't, it just can't see. Ever be easy, can it? I want to do that for son. Nails. Chain. Lantern. Alright, can't turn the lantern back on. Oh, man. I might have to turn. Can I turn on my brightness in here? Uh. 
that's better. I can actually see. Which usually, you know, helps. Alright. Ah, right. Poor lost souls. The probabilities have turned against you. What the? Who are you? Who would that be? Confused by my sudden appearance. But my identity is irrelevant. As are you, dear Sirius. Unfortunately. What? Oh shit, please don't tell anyone we're down here. Please. We didn't mean any harm. These guys were just... You ask that I not reveal you, for your intentions were not evil, and I believe you, but sadly, it's not compassion that rules my deeds. The first beat of a wing must happen. It is the only way the probabilities will fall into place. This is the way it has to be, the way it has been for eons. I am sorry. You dead, son? Oh, 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 shit, we're both dead. Oh, no, no! What are you doing, please? Just don't leave. We, were just, we just wanted to. I guess we're dead. There you go, Andrew, guys. Finished it. What? <laughs> I'm just joking. Prologue, a new life, eh? Osteen, the two of you hid in the cargo and lived on our stocks. Then when Rick and Seabald found you, you gave them a beating. And all of a sudden, a veiled woman appeared and knocked you out with wild magic. Is that about it? Yes, I, I know it sounds crazy, but it's the truth. Please, my dame, we... We didn't have a choice. You've got to believe us, the war. It, we, we just wanted a second chance, that's all. A second chance. Yes, I think I understand you. You wanted to start a new life in a new land. And as my ship is one of the only ships still sailing the route since the wars, you were simply forced to board without paying. Yes, we could work for you, you, you know? We could scrub the deck, peel potatoes, anything to pay off our debt. And as soon as we've arrived, Heartbreaking. How truly, truly heartbreaking. But let's be honest. You did have a choice. You could have signed on like all the others did, but you didn't. Instead, you've nested on my ship like flesh maggots, enjoying the good life while my crew actually had to earn their keep. And now you're feeding me this bullshit about veiled women and wild magic? How stupid do you think I am? I know your kind. You are cutthroats. Filchers. At least have the guts to admit it. What? No, 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 no. You, you're wrong. We, please, just let me explain. I... I don't give a shit for your explanations. If there's one thing I hate more than cowards, it's people trying to pluck my heartstrings. You two are scum. And there's only one kind of punishment for scum on my ship. Pull him up, Ruger. But Captain, they... Do it. Of course, Captain. I'm sorry, lad. You should have stayed in their room. But... You, you can't do this. Oh, believe me, I can. <laughs> no, I... I guess I'm dead now. Time to die. Oh, well, look at that. Someone's woken up. Rise and shine. Tie him and his friend together and feed them to the fish. Good luck in your new life, friend. Ow. That's not like I took an axe to the head, not actually knocked out, if you ask me, but you know. Is time to the dead. 
I'm dreaming anyway. They come from so many place. people just talk, 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 and How never. How does it feel to be powerless? This is about your damn pride, dear. I know I'm not real. Mistake. At least not according to your definition. I know damn well I'm evil. It just. Christmas. And there was nothing I could do. This isn't happening. But then again, this isn't happening. What is reality? And selfish fool. What? Where? Where am I? I don't understand. Nope, well, I'm off to quest. Nothing. Alright, well, I forgot to magic. It's a learnt meditation. What if I do this? <coughs> That's my big brain! Mm -mm -mm. Mm -hmm. starts with dreams that's where i'm gonna end this episode that is so good oh my god that is really really good i like that a lot i really dig that oh my god but anyway thank you so much for watching don't forget to hit that like button to let me know you enjoyed it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to help support my channel. And that way you can help me climb up further through the tier. But yeah, so, so excited. Want to thank you guys so much for reaching 55. Woo! Anyway, but I shall see you in the next video. Jack, yeah. <laughs>